morning, Mount Zion. Today is Monday, May 11th. I'm Lauren Lasseter, and our devotion of the day is Iron Sharpens Iron. I'm going to be reading from uh, 2 Timothy uh, chapter 2, verse 14 through 19. Remind them of these things, commanding them before the Lord, that they not argue about words, which leads to nothing of value and to the destruction of those who hear them. Study to show yourself approved by God, a workman who need not be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth. But avoid profane, foolish babblings, for they will increase to more ungodliness, and their word will spread like gangrene. Among them are the Humanes and the Philetus, who have erred concerning the truth, saying that the resurrection has already occurred, and who overthrow the faith of some. But the firm foundation of God stands, having this seal. The Lord knows those who are his, and let everyone who calls in the name of Christ depart from iniquity. Um, the author of the devotion for today is Michael W. Martin, and here's the devotion. <laughs> During the past school year, a colleague and friend approached me and suggested I start a Bible study for teachers. After some thought and prayer, I decided to send an email to teachers and other staff inviting them to my classroom for Bible study before school on Tuesdays and Fridays. I had no idea what to expect. But on Tuesdays, we studied the book of James, and on Fridays, the book of Philippians. In Proverbs, we were told that as iron sharpens iron, so one person sharpens another. It took a couple of meetings for trust to build, but we discovered that as we studied together, we grew as friends. We became more willing to share our struggles with one another. We listened to one another, we prayed with one another, we encouraged one another, even checking on those who missed a meeting. God truly worked in our midst, encouraging us through scripture and through fellowship. Most of all, God helped each of us learn to rely more upon the working of the Holy Spirit in our relationships with one another, our students, and with God. And um, here's the prayer. Dear Father, thank you for the Bible. Help us to grow as we read it and lead us to find others who will faithfully study with us. Amen. And then to finish off the thought for the day is Bible study helps me grow in my relations with God and others. Thank you. <laughs>